Hey guys, it's me, Selena, with Selena Thinking Out Loud, bringing you another Storytime Sunday time with God. And today we're going to be talking about another special lady in the Bible that God actually used as a prophetess, an arbitrator, and also she was a bit of a warrior too. And her name is Deborah. So we're going to start right in and jump right into the message here in the Bible. And we're going to go to Judges chapter four, and we're going to be working with one through 10. So we see here in verse one, and the Israelites once again did evil in the eyes of the Lord. And so what the Lord did was sold them into the hands of Jabin. He's the king of Canaan. And so he reigned in Hazor. And the commander of his army is Sisera, okay, who lived in the land. And because he had 900 iron chariots, you know, he was really cruel. And, you know, he knew how to oppress the Israelites um, and he did it for 20 years. And they cried to the Lord for help um, during, during this oppression. So there was a female, verse 4, named Deborah. She was a prophetess. She was a wife and she was leading the Israelites. Can you believe that? She was leading Israel at the time. She held court under a palm tree um, that was also named Deborah. And it was between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim. Uh, the Israelites came to her when they had disputes that they need to be reckoned. And so she decided on the disputes and helped them through their um, issues. So Deborah goes to Barak, who she says that the Lord God of Israel commanded him to go and take with him 10,000 men from their countries and lead the way to Mount Tabor which she said that she would lure Sisera, the commander of Jabin's army with his chariots and his troops to Kishon's river and give him into your hands. We find out after reading verse eight here, when Barak says to her, I, if you go with me, I will go. But if you don't go with me, I won't go. So after the Lord had already given her this message to give to Barak on how to defeat Sisera's um, army, he says, if you don't go with me, I won't go. So that lets us know and gives us an indication that not only did God use Deborah as his prophetess and his uh, judge, but also he had her go into battle and that she had warrior tendencies. She had warrior skills. She could strategically go into battle and follow God's will and also win a war or win a battle. So that was actually very interesting that God would give a woman, right? the actual tactical skills to go into battle. And so we continue to see that Deborah is like, okay, I'm up for the challenge. And she says here in verse nine, very well, you know, I will go with you, but because the way you were going about it, you know, the honor will not be yours. The Lord will hand Sisera over to a woman. So Deborah went with Barak to Kadesh right? To gather all the men, to, to gather the 10,000 men that the Lord had laid in her, in her mind and in her heart and her thoughts to share with Barak. So we see here as we continue with Judges chapter 4, 12 through 17, when they told Sisera that Barak's uh, was on his way. He was gone to Mount Tabor to get his men together. Sisera gathered together his, his 900 iron chariot, chariots and all of the men and with him, they all ventured to the Kishon River. So verse 14, we see that Deborah says to Barak, go, this is the day the Lord has given Sisera into your hands. Has not the Lord gone before you? So Barak went down to Mount Tabor, followed by 10,000 of his men. At Barak's advance, the Lord routed Sisera and all of his chariots and army by the sword, and Sisera abandoned his chariot and fled on foot. So, but Barak, he's strong now. He's seeing how the will of the Lord is being, um, um, is being actually coming to pass. So Barak pursues the chariots and all of the army as far as Harasheth, the land of Harasheth, and all the troops of Sisera fell to the sword. Not a man was left, 
But we find out in verse 17, Sisera, however, has fled on foot. Hmm. So we find out that the word that the message that God had given Deborah to go into battle, to strategize this battle and this, uh, this, this capture of all of Sisera's army is actually coming to pass and actually happened. It's actually truth. And so Barak sees and is convinced now that what uh, Deborah was saying as the prophetess was actually true. So he's gun ho and he's going about doing God's work now. But we find out that indeed God does deliver the honor of capturing Sisera in the hands of a woman, which we will find out on next week. So we see here that God took Deborah outside of the home to not only be a prophetess, not only being a judge, but also a warrior in his name. And yes, Deborah would have been so happy with being a stay at home mom, taking care of the home, taking care of her husband, taking care of her family. But God wanted her to do work outside of the home, even in the word of God. So the question for you today, would you rather have been a warrior like Deborah in the Bible used to strategically conquer a army? Or would you rather have been a stay at home mom where you're nurturing people in your community as well as in your home? Leave your comment below this video. I would love to know which uh, role you would like to have been in this time period in the Bible. So I thank you so much for watching my Storytime Sunday. I hope that gave you an en enlightenment that God has used women in the Bible to do some really miraculous things. And that if you continue to read God's word, you'll figure out and realize that it's a huge adventure. It's almost like watching a movie unfold as you're reading his word, that it's actually fun to get in and read God's word and that God is using men and women to do his work each and every day. And that's why it's so exciting to be a vessel for Christ and be among his uh, wonderful children in the body of Christ. So thank you so much for watching my Storytime Sunday. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more Storytime Sundays or more of my videos during the week, my giveaways and all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Talk to you soon, bye.